Okay, this is Temple OS 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 22, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. Let's see where God sends us today. Alt-B. And today we are located in Games Battle, Games Battle Lines. Okay, in the init. So this is a, this is a game. Uh, you move the mouse wheel and you do uh, an attractive force when you press the button or a repulsive force when you press the button. I'm repelling them. I can move them down, then up. Or I can attract them if I'm, I'm, I'm attracting them to the... Anyway, uh, okay, so that's... So we're looking at uh, the init. Um, so on applications, you you bracket with settings push and settings pop. And the reason you do that is uh, if we change. Hold on a sec. Okay, at, at the command line, you say. Uh, main so at the command line if we unassemble the function main okay so we can execute we, we just put code in memory and now we're executing at the command line and if we um, If we O trace, then uh, or no, it's let's see. If we C trace, C trace. Then if we do main, notice how what we're doing is a call to main. Um, so it stays in the same task and it calls it. So if we say pound include uh, battle lines, then this is going to be in the same task as the command line. So if we say battle lines, so uh, for that reason, um, we uh, watch what happens. Um, right now, we have uh, autocomplete turned off, but let's put autocomplete back on. Um, Alt A, and then um, notice it's it's. This is one of the settings that are saved when you. Uh, Let's look at what save settings saves. It saves uh, autocomplete. Uh, where does it save autocomplete? It saves autocomplete. It saves preemption. If you turn it on or off, it saves. Uh, if you uh, pan, if you pan the window, that is saved. If you uh, so, um, let's go ahead and watch what happens. Um, when we, I'm going to start this up and autocomplete will be on, then it'll turn off. Now when we exit, autocomplete comes back on. Now uh, if we do I'm going to uh, I'm going to pan the screen. Let's pan it uh, so this is in the center. Okay, so that's kind of a weird thing to do. But now um, when we uh, when we exit, let's let's pan. Oh, it's in the center now. 
anyway, so when we exit um, it's back, um, that's one of the, okay. I'm just going over what settings saves. Um, preemption is turned off, but it's turned back on when we uh, when we pop the settings. Um, so uh, so we we push settings, then we call init, which is uh, what initializes all the troopers. Then we go in a loop, and we 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 do try catch. This is to catch Control Alt C. If there's a Control Alt C exception, we catch it, and uh, we go in a loop. And if the if the character coming in is a carriage return, that's what I do for reinitialize. Now preemption is off, so what that means is uh, we will not be. We, we will not, it will not draw the screen until we sleep down here. This is the only time it's going to draw the screen is at this sleep. So what that means is the init is safe for, uh, because preemption is off. Um, the, the reinitialize, um, the reinitialize, uh, is sometimes would would be dangerous if you drew the screen in the middle of a reinitialize uh, not in this program but in other programs you you sometimes it has Q links and stuff so uh, we turn off preemption and what that means is it's not going to draw the screen until initialize gets completed um, if you do a reinitialize, it's not going to draw the screen in the middle of a reinitialize. That's a callback. Um, draw it is a callback to draw the screen. And the draw the draw it is right here. Um, we draw we go in a loop and we draw all the troopers. Where is that? For number of players, two players, number of troopers, and uh um so init is safe because we have preemption turned off. Preemption gets turned back on when we pop the settings because um that's one of the settings that we save and restore. Um so you should familiarize the border um we we maximize the window, we get rid of the border. Um Anyway, so let's look at initialize. So it uh, it randomly um, sets. No, it doesn't randomly set the X and Y. In this game, they're at fixed locations. It initializes, and then it picks a uh, AI mode. There are uh, a handful of AI modes. Um, what are the AI modes? Either it has a target, or it goes randomly. Um, anyway, so when you reinitialize, when you start a new game over, um, well, let's see. So I think I covered everything there is in the initialize. Um, so, memset, we initialize the array of troopers to zero. Okay, I get, 